Here is um, a beautiful case. It's a case of muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is the name applied to a wide variety of uh, genetic inherited diseases, often present uh, at birth, some of which, uh, which pro generally progress into the child's life with complex genetic schemes. Uh, but nevertheless, whether you're talking about the uh, major form of muscular dystrophy, which is known as Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, or another type of muscular dystrophy known as Becker's, which is not quite as severe, you're talking about the same general uh, pathologic process. Here at the bottom, we have absolutely normal skeletal muscle fibers. These are cut uh, in cross sections. That's why they look round rather than like logs. And notice they are uniform in general staining. They are generally about the same size with respect to each other. They are separated by small bands of connective tissue here and there, but the fibers themselves are not replaced by fat or connective tissue in any way. And uh, like classical skeletal muscle, you can see uh, that the nuclei are oriented at the periphery. This is what that same exact muscle might look like if you were to cut it longitudinally. Nuclei at the periphery again, and nice striations. Here is muscular dystrophy on the top. Let's take a look at it. Well, even from this uh, half of a screen mode, you could see that there is an area where it kind of looks normal, but an area where there's a lot of uh, extremely small fibers, more fibrous tissue than usual. And uh, let's take a look at it on uh, its own field. And here is the skeletal uh, muscle biopsy of somebody with muscular dystrophy. Uh, this is not particularly uh, horribly advanced. Uh, but you would uh, guess that an area like this would be more advanced than an area like this. Let's, took, let's look at one of the more uh, normal type areas. Once again, they're relatively uh, uniform in size. You can see the nuclei at the periphery. But you can see occasionally, like here and here and here, is that some of the fibers are not taking up the stain nicely, and they're not as big as they should be. And this is the more normal area. Let's look at uh, the areas as it gets a little bit worse. Uh, in this area, there are a lot of fibers that are very small and purplish. And because of that, because of their small size and dropping out, the amount of connective tissue uh, between the fibers is relatively more. And as the disease progresses, or as the histology worsens, you could see that uh, in an area like this, uh, many, many of the uh, fibers are extremely small, extremely non-uniformly or discolored. And perhaps some of the fibers in this group may have to make up for that or hypertrophy because of the atrophy of many of the other fibers. This is a common finding in many types of primary muscle disease in which the uh, muscle fibers start to drop out, even if it's denervation, for example, some of the adjacent fibers may appear to hypertrophy. So this is not a hypertrophy of muscle, although some of the mice, muscle fibers are hypertrophic. It is not an atrophy, although many of the fibers are atrophic and small and dropped out and are replaced by fibrous tissue, or as the disease would go on, uh, fat. This is uh, muscular dystrophy. Let's look at another area. In this area, there's practically no viable fibers. It's almost all connective tissue and fat. Here's a blood vessel, here's a blood vessel, here's a blood vessel. And then we'll go back to a relatively normal area again, where except for an occasional fiber, uh, this does not look terribly bad. Let's look at some of the fibers that show uh, hypertrophy. And I think I could convince you that if, if this is the general fairly uniform size of a fiber, 
and many of the fibers in this area are dropped out, I could convince you, at least here, here, and probably a few of these, there is a muscle or compensatory um, muscle fiber hypertrophy, and that some of these are bigger than they should be. This is uh, the muscle from one of Jerry's kids. This is what uh, we um, do every Labor Day. This is uh, contribute to every Labor Day for research of this disease. Very complex genetic disease um, in which the muscle does not make dystrophin, which holds these fibers together, basically. Thank you very much.